You're the best. All right, and finally. Finally. Is this it? Venetian blinds. This is it. Going out on a high note. The best $3 you could spend on game room as far Why as I'm that? concerned. So, we should, probably, should I talk about the history of Venetian blinds or should I just show you Venetian blinds? No, you should blinds? tell me about the history. Set this one up. All right, so. The story. is rather interesting. Yeah. As most people know. <laughs> they actually, I, this text appears on the internet somewhere, so I, I'm, I suspect that they stole it. This is just a copy copy page from job? Atari age okay. or, or something or maybe maybe it came out of some manual that Activision had written before in Atari age but I don't know uh -huh. so the Venetian blinds technique was used in video chess by Bob Whitehead uh -huh. to display eight objects in a row instead of the normal six it was a basically a trick you could use to get around some limitations in the 2600s video hardware okay so when all these guys left Atari to form Activision uh, Atari was not very happy about it they tried to sue Activision about it claiming the that they, they took the technique and took secrets. Uh, so David Crane, when asked by the lawyers, as it says here, uh, showed them this demo and said, is this what you guys are talking about, Venetian Blondes? Yeah. And they didn't like it, and then Atari sued Activision. But uh, Atari huh. lost the case, as it says here. And this demo never actually came out, though I, uh, the sunset, as it says here, was used in the background of barnstorming. Um, so it's, it's, so a, it's basically a, joke a big joke that you can be in on for the low, low price of $3. Was it ever actually released? You know, it probably was packaged in with one of these PS2, Atari 2600 packages that Activision's done, like Atari uh, Anthology and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. Let's see what it looks like outside. All right. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's too bright, though. I need to lower it a little bit. Yeah. Can you, can you take it down a little more? That's real nice. It's getting cold in here. Some sun might. There we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you ever lower it and come back up and there's, you know, something else there? No. There's like a, late, like a lady or something saying hi. Can you open it up a little bit? Just a little more. Just, just give me a little peek. Uh-huh. Yeah, just a little more. See, from that, that could be a butt. So that's all right. That's just somebody bedding out, mooning you from outside. What's that? Oh, now no, it's, in it's just the. Uh, what else can you do? I can lower the blinds. Mm -hmm. And I can raise the blinds. Yeah. Does this, uh, is this the one? Can you lower them in this one? Uh, yeah, I can push down and lower them. Do you want me to lower them all the way? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. I mean, right. we're here. All right, yeah, there you go. I can, I can lower them. Um, and then once they're lowered, they're yeah. they're lowered. Um, and that's it. They're down all the way. Like you can't go down anymore. No, I can't go down any further. Than okay. this. this is as down as the blinds go. This is as long as the blinds are. Um, but I can raise them back up. In this one, in this version. In this version, I can see. I can kind of inch it back up here a little. Oh yeah. Bit. Tap it. Tap. 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 Yeah. You know, yeah. Do it little by little. I can stop here. Yeah, but you. Can and I could go back down if I want to. At that point, you know, it's like I, I can. I have free control. So does it save your progress, like when you come back, or does it just start you over from down? It just starts you over from down. Okay, yeah. all, all the yeah. way down. You start you start all the way down. So this is you know starting position. Yeah. And then there's have uh, you any number of positions? So how many people are on the rank board for this? There's no rank games. Sadly, there's no ranked games. Huh. Um, I'm, do you want, I'm gonna raise the blinds. Yeah. There. Is there any way to raise the roof? I can hit. I no. So it's just the blinds. It's just the blinds. Okay. It's not Venetian roof. Can you go higher than that? Nope. This is as high as the blinds this go. There's three more blinds. Do you need like DLC to access those three probably, other blinds? Probably. If you could pay yeah. money for blinds. Uh, it'll take about three days to get them, though. <laughs> uh, can you jump out the window and kill yourself? Metaf I mean, no. It's not really in the game. <laughs> just run? That's, sort of, that's, that's the meta game, really, is kind of how long can you survive. Um, but this joke was real funny in the 80s. You know, like, what's going on out there? Is that a nuclear, post-nuclear wasteland? I don't know you what know, that is. is. It's a sunset. It's the sunset they went on to use in barnstorming. Close it. I don't want to see it anymore. All right. No, yeah. wait. I want to see a little bit. Okay. All right. How about that? That's good. That much? Yeah. You want to see it? Oh, a little less. That's, yeah. How about that much? The control, the, the fidelity on the control. Yeah, the, the fidelity on the blinds is uh, unmatched. Yeah. Venetian blinds in video games. I think this is really 
the high water mark um, for that stuff. So. For both, you know, that and for a game room, really, just three dollars for this. Three dollars, yeah, it's three bucks. Three, three dollars. Throw your money out the window. You can see over there on the right side, uh, guys are freaking out watching me play Venetian Blinds. <laughs> yeah. Well, here comes, here comes old Blindy. He's behind the screen oh, now. The, the mascot yeah. back there. So it is, it is literally the best mascot. <laughs> Just a you window. Could possibly have in your arcade. It's just a window, and the window doesn't animate. It's the blinds are just down. Well, it's the only th it's the only only mascot I've seen that's actually more probably more interesting than the whole game. Yeah. Uh, curtains. There he goes. Bye. No, no curtains. No curtains. Hmm. I can raise the blinds and then using uh, game rooms emulation technology roll it back to when they were <gasps> closed before. Whoa! In case you messed up. Okay, I really screwed up. Uh, did you ever, did you ever, when you were a kid, did you ever get together with your friends and play the like Venetian blind drinking game? All the time. Yeah, so yeah. Like, that's how I learned how to drink when <laughs> I was six. So basically, you know, you start with them all the all the way down. Yeah. And then uh, I say a number like seven, and you have to see if you uh, without stopping can hit the seventh blind. There you go. Seven. Oh, I drink. Seven. You drink. I drink. Yeah. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right, give me another number. Uh, ten. Pretty good. I lost count. I, I did too. I think that means we both drink. <laughs> All drink when you lose count. Uh, what's the? Uh, I like that they have modeled the rope. The rope. Yeah. Over there. It doesn't move. The but... Lines. No. Well, yeah, you can't really see the, if it's moving or not. It could be being pulled just without moving. You know, it is a loop. Yeah. Is there, uh, is there instructions? Are there instructions for this game? Yeah, let's, uh, yeah. Are there different game modes? Can you hit the selector switch? No, no, it's, uh, I can open blind. Open blind. Close blind. Layout A, layout B, uh, it moves open and close blind over to the... Can you invert the controls so up is close blinds? No. <laughs> well, then I can't play this game. Uh, it's a demo. The demo isn't a game. Wait. What do you mean, as the, na as the name implies? Is this called Venetian Blinds Demo? No. no. I, don't, I don't think the name implies anything <laughs> about it. My microphone fell off. Well, that's probably for the best. I think your microphone just committed suicide. <laughs> my, microphone fell off. my microphone fell off. I think it I think jumped is the appropriate verb there. Just kill me. Clip that back on. Get me out of here. Well... As That's we a close, nicely done sunset. Closed as the sun sets on these riders, and we close the blinds on Game Room. Hell of a run. You think we'll see another pack? I have no idea. Now that they've released this, I feel like anything is possible. You gave them money for this. Three dollars. You gave somebody just made three dollars for putting this out. I feel pretty good about buying Venetian Blondes. Are you going to buy it on your PC? Yeah, I'm going to get the Play Anywhere add-on. I mean, the blinds go up and down. It's, I mean, I don't know what you want out of video games. Uh, nothing more this... than, than Venetian Blinds. Yeah. Is... Hey, Shelby. Hey. New game? Yeah. Yeah, this, this is the newest, latest. It's called Venetian Blinds. The blinds go up and down now. $3 for, uh, wow. for this. That's, uh... Activision is on a cutting edge. <laughs> That's true. So they, um, Always have been... Bobby Kodak has them <laughs> yeah. pointed exactly the right direction. I mean, this I'm sure this will be a viral hit like we've never seen. It's an annualized <laughs> franchise. I mean, this this is just the demo that, you know, they never released when they d designed it back in 82. Yeah. You know, but now that it's finally available... For $3. I feel like this is going to be... You're going to raise this up and, you know, you can buy different if sunsets. If you were the Angry Birds guy, I would be terrified. <laughs> <laughs> of Activision getting into this space. Yeah, I mean... It is, it is pretty amazing what I they can they do. you think they can put other scenes on the other side of the window? Yeah, I mean, you could do Venetian Blinds Seasons, just yeah. like they did with Angry Birds. Yeah. And, and then there you are with, you know, this Christmas out here or, you know, El Paso, Texas. You can do locations. I mean, the monetizing pretty much is there right from the get-go. You can do yeah. user gen stuff. You could put your own picture on the other side of the window. That's oh. crazy. I don't know, because then I could just, you know, if, if I could put my own picture back there, what incentive would I have to buy their pictures? <laughs> that would ruin the whole yeah, model. probably that is. That's probably <laughs> 
Unless it costs fifty dollars to get a tool. Yeah, a tool to make your own, and you have to upload it to them for approval. Yes. All right, guys, I have to go start programming. <laughs> um, close the blinds. Let's see. Uh, let's see that one more time. Let's say yeah. So did they get sued in the end? I don't know. What was the end? Yeah, they did. Atari yeah. sued. Atari, Atari still sued them. So the, this didn't work. <laughs> it just did not throw them off. Okay. Um, but uh, because you know, Atari was the only company making games for the Atari at that point. Activision is the first third-party publisher of video games in the history of the universe um, for a, for a home platform. So at the time, there was really no precedent for it, um, mm. and people thought, you know, like, well, it's Atari's game system. Of course, you know, Atari makes games for, you know, that's, that's right, all, right? Right, right, right. Um, so Activision really, uh, you know, for, for, they started a lot of what is the, is no the like, norm for right. gaming today. I mean, you know, Pitfall and Kaboom and all this stuff, like, uh, you know, they, they got out because Atari was just, uh, to, to, you know, hear, hear the tales be told of, of that time, and it was just a, a meat grinder, you know? It was mm. like, people were going in there and working crazy hours and not getting any credit so what the first thing Activision did is actually put the the developers name on the box it said a game by David Crane a game by you know and so and here we are here we are later. Sid Meier's Civilization 5 Venetian blinds and here we are with people complaining that Activision is a meat grinder that <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> turns I remember yeah uh, odd and it all comes back to the blinds Jeff yeah. I think we're done here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. See you next year. See you next year. <laughs>